Hi, I'm Professor Patrick, and welcome to the Science of Fun. Today, we're going to be building a lava lamp. So the materials that you need for today's experiment are one one liter bottle of soda that's empty and washed out, three quarters of a cup of water, a large thing of vegetable oil, make sure you check with your mom first though because she might need it, some food coloring, and an alka seltzer tablet. So before we begin today's experiment, I should explain what molecular polarity is along with density. So molecular polarity is the attraction or the non-attraction of molecules. So water molecules won't mix with oil molecules. They'll separate and stay separate the entire time. Density is the degree of compactness in a substance. So water's density is greater than the density of the oil so then, when the oil is put into the bottle, the water will sink to the bottom, and the oil will float at the top. So the first step is to pour your three quarters of a cup of water into the bottle. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to open your oil and you're going to pour until you're almost near the top. Be very careful because the oil is heavy and it's very easy to spill. So, now that you've got it filled, what we're going to do next is we're going to put five or six drops of food coloring into it. You can watch the food coloring slowly move through the oil down towards the water. Doesn't that look really cool as the drops just move one by one towards the bottom and sit there? So the next step of our experiment is to break up Alka-Seltzer tablet into four or five pieces. And now we're going to drop them in. As you can see it's creating some bubbles and as we add in more and more it's starting to push up the purple and move it around kind of like how a lava lamp works. The more carbonation that goes into it, the more bubbles are created, and the more the color moves around. It's pushing the water up through the oil and then pulling it back down. Let's shake it gently back and forth a little bit. So as you can see the water moving up and down is kind of like the globs of gel that move around inside of a lava lamp. So now we're going to put another alka tablet in, and then we're going to tilt it on its side.
as you can see all those little gel bubbles moving up and down that's the water being pushed up by the alka seltzer so this is good for days it doesn't expire none of the parts in it will expire so you can keep it for as long as you want it won't mold or anything so you know whenever it runs out of bubbles you can just pop in another Al alka seltzer tablet and it's good to play with for as long as you have as many alka seltzer tablets as you need so this has been the science of fun i'm professor patrick and join us next time when we'll be building elephant toothpaste.